Hello friends, my name is First Aiden, and welcome back to Endzone, A World Apart. Uh, it's been a few days since the last recording, so I, was t I took a minute here to try to figure out where exactly we were before I got started, and uh, I remember that we made some really good progress with just getting our population up, and we're looking to restabilize all of our resources now that we've allowed basically 20 people to be able to survive, and I got a fantastic comment on one of the last YouTube videos what is this guy um, and that was that hey guy if you click this button in the top left you can actually see why your settlers are dying so there's no more confusion I think I had complained about that for a number of episodes like I just didn't know why people were dying so I took a, a look at this as well here's someone who just died heartbeats uh, and what I found was, if you were to scroll through this for a while, which I did, most, if not all, of our people are dying of old age. Almost all of them. Uh, if, if not all of them. So, I guess what that means is, that, well, that's a good thing. They're not dying of disease or, or what have you. See, this is all old age. What it means is we reached a point of treadmilling in that our population wasn't able to increase because we weren't producing enough kids to replace the adults that were dying fast enough and so on. So we reached this kind of treadmilling where we weren't able to get above whatever it was, just under 60, 55 to 60. So now, now that we've built all these extra houses, our, our treadmilling position, why is this green? Our treadmilling, our new treadmilling may be around just under 80. We'll see, I don't know. I don't exactly have the uh, ability to, to math that out, I don't think. I don't think we have those kinds of stats in the game. But we do have uh, quite a lot of houses with, with kids in them. Where was that? Wait, did I just see, like... No, I think I clicked this guy. Uh, we also have the shelters that have plenty of space for adults. So I think we're good. We're good here. What this episode should be more about is making sure our food and water production is where we need it. We've lost our pub keeper. While at the same time not being able to increase our population. And we may find that we need to increase our population more in order to uh, actually get all these jobs filled. In particular, we're missing people on our refiner. Uh, we noticed at the very beginning that these tailor shops were not able to produce... Or they didn't have enough cloth accessible to them. So, which means that... If we have all this scrap, we're just not refining it fast enough. And that means that we need more, uh, more refiners. The food and water situation is for sure an issue. I think we haven't increased our farms. Perhaps we just need more farmers. We're not even at half capacity there. We can increase our fishers and hunters as well. Again, just if we can get the people. So, with that said... Let's work on some more housing. Where do you put these guys, though? I think this was an issue last time is, okay, we can make the houses, but where do we even begin to put them? I had thought about putting them over here, but I had also wanted to do shelters over here just for the adult population. Most of this is, like, at capacity. Maybe we do a road up here, since this area is... Too small to have a house. We do a road up here and then just make this a bunch of houses connected here. Something weird like that. It's not it's not perfect, but it'll it'll do. Do like this. And then if we want to, we can now expand out the housing here as well. Okay, that's a lot of work. Uh, that'll keep our, our settlers build, busy for some time. We're out of PPE. It is what it is. We've got three unhappy settlers. And we've lost our pub keeper again. I don't... I don't feel like they were ever able to make the hard liquor. And we're not producing wheat. Or hemp, so... I don't... I still don't quite understand where these cherries were coming from. If they're not coming from the gatherer's hut. That, I just don't, I don't understand. Oh, this is a seasonal issue. Yeah, okay, it's back. 
Ooh, this might just be better. I go over there. As opposed to this field where our foresters have been doing some, maybe too good of a job chopping down all these trees. They don't have anything else to chop down. They haven't been planting trees fast enough. Maybe they're too efficient in that they're cutting down trees too fast. But that does like the efficiency here doesn't increase the tree growth rate, perhaps. Just a guess. We are up to 82 people. Okay. Nice. But food is in a bad, bad spot. Do not have a drought coming up, so getting a couple fishers going should allow some short-term reserves to build up. The... Yikes. The hunters are probably... Fine. I think at this point, people are going to die, and I want to make sure we have settlers available. Oh, man, that's going up quick. Settlers available to replace them. Let's go farmers. Seeing these fields half planted or not planted enough is not good. Three's, three's fine. Have we lost somebody? You can check. Old age. Kind of as expected. Okay, this is, this is a problem. <laughs> Uh, did we grow too fast? It can't be. Spread of disease going around. We somehow ran out of herbs too. Must be this the seasonal issues. Uh, let's see. Where's our herbal hut? There it is. We've got four out of eight herbalists because we built another one over here. Yeah, we're losing people quick. So we'll keep this guy not assigned, but... We do have room to expand our herbalists. Look at these cabbages. Yo, the hunters. Let's change your field to work to uh, right in front of your faces. How do you walk out of the building when you're leaving work and just walk right by these boars? efficiency changes and we never like i never got around to doing the irrigation plants and orchards over here like i had planned what we could do actually what we could do we could choose to do some cultivated fields now with the plan of putting in the irrigation huts later does not help with this incoming starvation issue but it's a thought it's still early we're hitting the coffee pretty hard. Uh, what do you do about this? So how do you mark this? So if we're planning on putting it here, here, how can I mark that? I want like a planning tool without actually building this road. Just eyeball it, this little dirt patch here maybe. And then when we go to food, we can do some more... Got a drought coming in. Doing the field work now doesn't even make any sense. Hmm. Wow. Everyone is seriously struggling right now. We're out of settlers, too. All right, speed things up. I can hear that we've got these houses going in. Yeah, we've got two new ones already. People moving in. Nice. And look, our children are actually on the rise. We were only at the, in the low 20s, I believe, and now we're in the high 20s. Gather resources from the surroundings. For herbs and scrap. It'd be nice, but I don't know how to, like... How do you force this? You could take people off the charcoal burners, so you just store more wood? I don't, I don't really get how to accomplish those tasks. Your problem. Needs trees. Well, honestly, we're doing fine on lumber. I'm not too worried about that. Hey, we had 30 kids. Yikes, that's a lot of mouths to feed. Soil moisture dry. 
Remember, dude. Well, 33 kids. Oh no. <laughs> what have we done? Oh, I'm nervous. Uh, going into a drought, we have just just a wealth of individuals right now. Everyone is just coughing. The plague has hit the settlement once again. Cannot collect food. Well, that is of a worldwide problem. To be honest, I don't know how this thing works. Go like this, maybe? Then this logistician can go collect whatever they need. We boomed up to 87 people. All right, slow it down. Because we've got this drought coming in. Which means we need to do some more water. I'm going to do another herbalist. Then stay at two settlers. I think we're going to drop pretty quick here from 87. Though, I don't know, based on the number of kids, and a lot of people. Let's go... The 90? Yikes. Okay, okay. The food is... It's just the food. At this point, it's just the food. And then when this drought comes in, our all of our eight fishers won't have anything to do. It's a, that's a yikes. We need to expand our... We need to expand our food. If we're going to be treadmilling around 90 now, it's not really an option to sit here and just, like, hope that things come to an equilibrium. I think we got to make it happen. So... I think it was this dirt patch here that we were talking about with that irrigation plant. And I suppose we don't have to do that. Here? Yeah, still got the still got the bead on it. So if we were to do a cross like this. It's a massive field. But it's gotta be necessary. Well, let's just do yeah, we'll just do one for now. Otherwise we're gonna overwhelm our people with, with tasks. And we kind of already did that with these roads and houses. We got kids coming up. Ooh, okay. Not not so bad. Unbelievable amount of scrap over there still. Good. But yeah, here comes the here comes the drought. I don't know. I don't know if we make it through this drought, honestly. I think some people might might die because we've got no rain coming in after that either so we've got drought and then no rain got it i don't know what that that means ppe is low season 86 now we're getting close to that 100 season mark which i believe is is an achievement which i am all about so we've got Beans, potatoes, I think we've got basically everything. Corn, cabbage. Uh, the thing that I don't know is if we can do anything with the wheat without... So we don't have, like, bakeries. So is the wheat just for booze production, or... Do we just eat the wheat? That doesn't make any sense. And check some of these out. I want something that grows pretty quickly. Uh, and corn might just be that thing. Corn seems pretty solid. Again, I bet you could sit here with a calculator and math this out. Oh, this does say food on it. This also says food on it? Do the corn. Go, my beautiful farmers. We need you. So, so badly. There's just not enough of them. 
yeah, I'm not assigning more people right now. We're gonna we're gonna dip in the numbers, I think. There we go. So we gotta go through one, two, three days before our first rainfall comes back. We've got heavy radiation through here too. Seeding pretty quickly on its own. Let's get it off our plants though. Yeah. I mean, it looks like if you can just open up a spot in the middle, it'll recede from there. So well, that should be fine. Ugh. All right, we are in the drought. There goes the lake. Immediately gone. Where do the fish go? How do the fish get back? Don't worry about it. 94 people. I kind of wish we could... Like, if these people can't go fishing... I assume they just go off and do basic tasks. But... I don't know that for a fact. We shouldn't have to reassign them every time we, we do this. Yeah, people are people are dropping. Getting close to a hundred adults. We have over a hundred people to feed. Yikes. Yeah, there go the heartbeats. And the hunger has not even begun. We have oh there we go. Now it has begun. <laughs> Make sure our hunters still have things to hunt. I suppose. Pop that up to three. If anything can get us through this. Could be our hunters. We got nice hunting grounds over here. Maybe we want to do that. Nice hunting lodge over here. Logistics. Go. We can actually check here though. Died of starvation, died of starvation. So we do have people dying of starvation. It was expected. And our water, our water supply. That's that's a lot of heartbeats. <laughs> it's going so fast. Oh man, the kid count went from like thirty to eighteen. Child died of starvation. It's terrible when you read it. Accumulate more food. Hey. The, the waters are back. The fishers are back to work. So we don't actually need rain for the lake to come back. That's that's a great sign. And all of our water collectors are, are going to... Okay, let's speed it back up. Our radiation is largely fine. Yeah. Oh, the heartbeats. 86. Oh my goodness. Please eat. Please. Oh my. They can't eat. The mortician. We need, we have to have a mortician, right? Okay, pull people off of water. We need you. We need you. Otherwise, everyone's going to be so unhappy. Okay. Do we need a builder? Not really. That's okay. We'll we'll get back up. Oh, God. Okay, what can we pull from? We can pull from scrap collectors. Stop. S just stop for a minute. It's all starvation, right? It's all starvation. Stop. We got ten food. Oh, all those people I pulled off scrap collecting just immediately replaced other jobs. Okay. Okay. Yikes. None of our farms are good enough to collect right now. Oh my. Rebecca. 
a bold play pull people off of water collection to get the food situation going and we need we need quick short-term food which is probably hunters yikes oh come on radiation isn't that bad 63 we can't even we can't pull people off these jobs no more pub keeper be unhappy it didn't even have anything to do there anyway what how is this possible we've got all these fishers all these hunters all these farmers you're telling me that they can't just harvest it now. Executive decision. 20 food, that's nothing. There's just going to be bodies everywhere. I just, I feel like I disagree with the amount of death that occurred. I knew that it was going to happen, and I'm okay with that. That was a lot. And I feel like our food, like we were fine with our current facilities around 50 some adults. So I'm, I'm feeling like they should be able to recover. We've got only two people that are hungry. So the food should start to go up if, if everything is maintained. Kind of a yikes. Uh, technician makes tools. We need one of those. Otherwise, that's just going to be another issue that creeps up. Charcoal's fine. Let's do another water collector, because that's going to be an issue. Wow, the severity of the droughts. Man, not even once. Yeah, we don't have enough farmers to even get these fields planted. So, like, these two aren't ever getting fully planted. So perhaps before moving out and actually doing this field, we should have just applied more farmers to the jobs to make sure that everything was getting planted. I could see that being a, th a problem and a thing we should have done. All right, the executive decision to, to harvest this field is is working. Um, if we're ever getting out of this, it's got to be the farmers that get us through. Herbs are fine. I really hate pulling people off the herbalist, though. It's one of those things that just creeps up on you. You can't really... I feel like you can't really plan for it. It just kind of happens. Uh, well, we got 16 kids. And another drought coming up again in a couple days. You can see this dark red looming. It's kind of like in Frostpunk when you can see the storms coming and you have to prepare somehow. Uh, yeah, just need adults. Can't really pull off of anything else. Maybe a forester here. We've got no PPE. We've got no cloth. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mean to like just sit here and do nothing, but what what are we supposed to do? <laughs> we need we need adults for the colony to function. Right now, I think what we really need with these adults, water carriers and farmers, if we're ever gonna make it through this. The fact that people are getting sick right now shouldn't be an issue. We've got the doctor, we've got the medicine. God, how much medicine? 82 medicine, no problem. Somebody died? It's old age, okay. 
Thank you. Welcome to the welcome to the colony, Jeffrey. You're in good hands. But hey, we're on season 92. It's pretty neat. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful corn. Uh, old age. Old age is fine. What are you going to do about it? Uh, all these unhappy settlers are almost certainly because the mortician hasn't made it around to collect the people who have died. Or at least that's my guess. I read that was uh, an issue. And that's why you would want two morticians, if if ever. What's this? Scrap stored. Probably not. What does that give us? The task. Lumber and metal tools. I'd like to see them rework these tasks to be like, instead of scrap stored, how about scrap collected? Because you could, you could purposely move some of your people around to collect more scrap. Like we could cap out, well not cap out maybe, but we could increase the number of scrap collectors and do like a burst of scrap collected for that period of time. But storing this much scrap, what is that? E how do we even accomplish that? I guess it's in a similar fashion. Like we would increase the number of scrap collectors and how much we hold. But stored feels weird to me because that number is just always going to increase. I think it's going to be hard to get there. So desperately need these water collectors. Please collect more water. Oh no. We had, we had, a, we had a heartbeat. Okay, is old age. Oh, we've got adults. Okay, adults. Go do some adulting. We need this. Oh no. Old age. What is this? Oncoming drought. Stockpile food and water in order to survive. The soil is going to become infertile. Can we say harvest now? I should pay more attention to what happens to these farms in the drought. Because I think they stay as is, but maybe they fail to continue growing. So they might just stay at the current yield. But you can choose to harvest them. That's That's just a guess. Oh man, the the water is is going to kill us. We need to pull off of like we need to actively pause the game and pull off from some of these jobs. Okay. All right. Risky move. Yeah, we know. We know. We were just talking about the uh, the tasks. Failed mission. Unhappy settlers. Doesn't matter. You know, if anything, having this many children and this many adults, this is like this is like a regression to like two episodes ago, the, the middle fifties and children in the teens. Oh, the water. Ooh, the water. Uh, rainwater collectors? Mm, that's not a lot. It's not a lot. Very small amount of water here. 581, that's it. Let, let him go. <laughs> oh no. More adults, please. Vincent, adult man. Old age, acceptable. And here is the drought. All right, folks, this is going to be a rough drought. And uh, I think I'm willing to tackle this. I'm up to the challenge. People are going to die. But they're going to die next episode. So thank you all for hanging out with me for this one. We made very minimal progress. We got this hunting lodge up and this cultivated field up with good intentions, but uh, didn't really amount to much else. We lost roughly 30 people. 
well, more than 30 people. But we're back to the mid-50s and children in the teens, and that's just where we're at. We've got a great amount of food right now to make it through this drought, but the water is going to be an issue. Thank you guys very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!